SQL and in a link. Today I'm going to demonstrate the operation of the IPSM 3.0 software. At first we connect the Ethernet with the IPSM and HDMI out to the display. Then we will get the IP address on the screen. Then open the browser and type in the IP address to link to the web control. Here we see five main categories on the top. Now we check the device. We will see the status of the old device in the system and the transceivers are at the button. We can rename, set the screen size and the bezel for each transceiver here. Next, I'm going to talk about routing. Here we have GenLock and Fast Switch mode for video. Here is the pairing table with all the display on the top and the video source on the left. This user-friendly design helps us to pair each source and display easily. For example, we can set all display with the same source or all the display with a different video source. Then, the audio is 232 USB, USB HID and IR will be the same. Let's go ahead with the layout. We can use the integrated template or create customized layout for TV wall and multi-view in this page. We can see the video source here on the top and display at the bottom. The device in those two lines are the same because our SDBOE is transceiver mode. Now I'm going to use the integrated template to set a TV wall. Click this plus icon to create a new layout. Then set the name and the size for the whole TV wall display. In here, the size is in the centimeter. Secondly, choose the integrated template, then click confirm. Now we get the layout for the TV wall. Next step is pairing each device with the each display. So, I just need to drag the device from the button and drop on the right display to locate the displays in the TV wall. After the pairing is completed, then drag the video source from the top, drop on the layout and click confirm. The TV wall is set up. Next, I'm going to create a new multi-view layout. Same with the couple steps we just did earlier for the TV wall. Click the plus icon, set the name, then type in the pixel of the display. Choose the customize and click confirm. We got a blank table. Click the region icon and add the regions we need. Then. Drag each region to the location we want. Then pair the video sources with the regions. And drag the display to pair with the layout. Then click confirm. Now we have a new customized multi view. The most special functions in IPSM 3.0 software are show and schedule. With these functions, we can design and edit many playlists, then schedule. So, let me show you how to create a playlist in the show. In this page, we have playlist, layout, routing, and timeline. First, we add a new show in playlist. We can name it and set duration. Then, add the layout from the list that is derived from the layout we just set. Next, these are video and audio routing. We can pair the video sources with the displays here. Set the video mode as GenLock or Fast Switch and the duration. For audio, we can choose the audio source, set the channel, destination, and duration. Click Confirm to save the setting for the show. Then, we can see the flow of the show in the timeline. At last, we go to schedule. There are day, week, and month options under schedule. Double-click on the calendar. We can choose the show from list. Set the start and end time, or mark all day. Here are the daily, weekly, 
monthly and yearly option in repeat setting. We can set the frequency based on this option. And how many times we want it to repeat? Click save and the event will be in the schedule. We can check the daily event in the agenda. And if you want to get more information, please visit our website www.avlinksystem.com Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.